going to stay on the uh, landlord tenanting thing. All right. Shout out to CBS Chicago. Shout out to Brandon. Mm, mm, mm. I know he's doing great things over here since I've been going. Tenants living in boarded up Harvey apartment buildings say they were not warned. Child, these people, it's not funny. These people was living in an apartment, I think is what it was, and they boarded the damn thing up with the people on the inside. Ninja what? Ninja what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Let, what up, what up, sir? Frustrating and frightening situation in South Suburban Harvey. Some residents there are still living in boarded up apartments, even after concerns over unfit living conditions and ongoing crime have come to light. CBS 2 Chardet Gray is digging in to find the owner of the property who they hired and how exactly this all happened. The city confirms a letter was sent to the owners of this property to notify their tenants. They have to be out by a certain day. Look at Jarvis. First of all, this looks like Oprah Winfrey's long lost daughter, but look at Jarvis the cat. <laughs> Woo! I don't know why I just get the name Jarvis whenever I hate cats, y'all. I hate them. I can't stand them. Okay. You can only be a cat in my house. God forbid if there was a mouse problem. Other than that, no, I can't stand them. Jarvis coming in the Jarvis coming in the shot to say, I live here. Yo, look at this place. Look, just look at it. Don't this look like a hotel, motel, holiday inn where you enter from the outside? I like hotels where you go through the elevator and you take the elevator up to get to your room. Not that I get to the door of the room or the Get to the door of the room, yeah, from the outside. Ah, uh, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Now, listen, understand, this is me being nice Er, This is me being nice Er, I understand that everybody don't have everything and we all want what we want. We put up with what we put up with, all right? Fine. But before, this didn't probably look that great prior to the boarding up. They must be bordering it up for a reason. Who knows? This glass right here, if you can see my mouse, looks like it's been uh, knocked out or whatever. Mm. Mm. This is crazy, though, y'all. Shout out to um, Brandon. Brandon, this what's going on down there, or is this Tiffany's side? Don't forget Tiffany Hen, you're down there in Dalton, y'all. I tell you, some of you Negroes, you're doing a great job. But some tenants say they didn't get that letter. Mm. The letter. The letter that the property manager was supposed to notify all of their tenants to leave by December 29th. But they didn't give us the letter. They put their letters on certain people's doors. Everybody didn't get no letter. The letter was sent December 14th by the... So... <sighs> Y'all, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. She got the letter on the phone. But it was on some people's doors and not some people's doors. So I would assume that they probably put it on the door and they sent it to you. In your email, I guess if you have it, child, I don't. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. Look at this place. Now we already know that this is a class thing going on right here. First of all, right? They better go see Brandon and say, "Toss over some of that immigrant money over here." I'm sorry, asylum seekers, child, asylum seekers money all over here. Get, give us some of that money and help us out over here because this is not right. Mm, mm, mm. It's not. No, seriously, y'all, it's not. All right. To be in your home and then someone comes over and puts these boards up and you can't get out. Where are we living in 2024? Let me rephrase. Where are we at in 2024 if this is what's going on? Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all. We got to get back into the politics. I know a lot y'all, sorry. I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear it, but we have to. This is going to be so good. This is going to be, it's so much. We, we got to catch up, y'all. We got to catch up. The city of Harvey's director of building and inspectional services. He confirmed over the phone the letter was sent to the building's property owners because of deteriorated balconies and stairs. The letter goes on to say extensive deterioration could lead to failure with added load of snow. The city's director of building and inspectional services says, ongoing crime on South Halstead Street since October was also a concern, but the city had nothing to do with boarding up residents. I don't think this right at all. Genevieve Tyler has lived in this apartment complex for four years. Friday, she... <clears throat> this is me being nice-er 
This is me being nice. Er, I ain't play no sounds, y'all. I ain't play no sounds. But I got to be honest with you. This sounds crazy. This this sounds crazy. So they said it was crime going on over there. <laughs> Shout out to y'all in the chat. You crazy, okay? Y'all are crazy. Kanari said, I used to live in Harvey. Nothing out there but liquor stores, Popeye's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and Moolies. Every time I hear the word Moolies, it makes me think of Spike Lee movies because he always has that in there. Shout out to you. Y'all crazy. Please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Um, I don't know, y'all. Look, look, you see this right here? This looks like if you lean on it a bit, you're falling the hell over. This is a condemnate. What is it? Condemnation? Condemning? This should be condemned. I don't know what the right word is. This place should have been condemned. You know what I'm saying? It don't look like you should walk up the steps, hold on to the hand railing. This is the only place for Jarvis to live. Jarvis is the only one that should live here. And I got to be honest with you, I'm not sure if Jarvis should live here. I'm not sure Jarvis should live here. Ima imagine what it must look like on the inside. Mm, mm, mm. She was inside her apartment when she heard people outside of her door. I was at my door. They didn't even knock on the door. They just started boarding up. And once I seen them boarding up, I went out the pa uh, on my balcony right here. And once I walked down the stairs, they just started the boarding up all the crews. And they boarding these apartments up. The video circulating on social media shows the crews going door to door, plastering the boards on the windows and doors. Mm. They don't care to talk to your property manager. That's all they kept saying. We reached out to them Saturday. No reply. So we called them again. We're calling Chicago Style Management. We are currently closed. If this is an emergency okay. Tyler says her only option is to stay in her cold apartment. I cry. I'm being nice er. I'm being nice er. She has no choice but to stay in her cold apartment, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This is not good. This is not good. We got blankets on the window, no carpet. You see a little space heater back there. Well, she got an iron at least. <sighs> Let me get through this story, y'all. This is me being nice er. Option is to stay in her cold apartment. I cried all yesterday. Mm. I can't even cry no more. I don't know what to do at this time, at this point. I don't know. I don't want to leave because I don't have nowhere to go. I don't want to sit outside in the cold. So I'd rather sit in here. It's cold to you. I'd rather stay in here than it is outside. We've reached out to the owner of this property as well as the company that boarded up this building, but we have not heard back. We will continue to press them for more answers. Good luck, because if Oprah's daughter can't get there, get to those people, then nobody can. All right. Those people can't get to the property management people. And I know somebody will say, oh, it's the property managers, the corporations, it's the companies, it's the this, 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 that, it's the this, 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 that. Lest we not act like we did not hear her say she's lived there for four years. Now, we don't see no kids. We don't see no kids. So the ability and capability opens you up to so much more when you don't have to worry about somebody else. Right. I'm just putting it out there. Y'all believe what you want to believe. All I'm saying is, is that that's a long time to live here. Someone said it. Um, Mr. He said, shout out to you, hun. Thank you for being here. He said, no family, no friends, no emergency fund. We got to want more. If we don't want to do more for us, then no one else can do it for you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to understand, you know, in a certain amount of time, when is it? gonna dawn on you this is me being nice er um that something needs to be done something needs to change and it may not come from somebody giving it to you it may be you giving it to yourself all right and i'm gonna leave it at that we moving on child shout out to chicago and brandon and tiffany and whoever the hell else is out there but speaking <laughs> We do not care. 